In a remote, desolate spot in the New Mexico desert, billionaire Richard Branson's dreams are about to come true. I always envisioned as a kid that a, a spaceship should be, it should look like this. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Uh, you envisioned this when you were a kid. I, 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 I just thought that's how you, how you should fly to space. After nearly two decades of hard work and tragedy, Branson is about to launch to the edge of space on a ship dubbed Unity first carried by a mothership named after his own mother eve so your ship drops from the bottom of that wing you light the rocket fire fire and then you're off to the races three and a half thousand miles an hour in eight seconds so straight up that's all three thousand and eight yeah that's easy it's easy <laughs> it's going to be quite a ride branson has wanted to go to space since watching the apollo 11 moon landing after building his virgin empire he started virgin galactic with the dream of taking everyday civilians 50 miles high to the edge of space for a weightless experience and a once in a lifetime view wow look at that view gorgeous at that moment we will have become astronauts um uh, I will pinch myself <laughs> and, and pinch myself again and again. You can't wait. I can't wait. It's taken 17 years to get here. In 2014, a tragedy struck when a test pilot was killed in a horrific accident. Now, after redesigns and safety delays, all systems are go for a Sunday launch. For years, 70-year-old Branson has been strenuously training. I've managed to build some muscles so that my spacesuit, they, they realize they're going to You're, you're have to bursting get... <laughs> at the seams here. <laughs> they're going to have to get me a bigger spacesuit. And there's bragging rights. Another billionaire, Jeff Bezos, and his space company, Blue Origin, are also about to launch. When Bezos announced he would fly on July 20th, it changes your relationship with this planet, with humanity. Virgin quickly announced Branson would fly on the 11th, beating Bezos by nine days. Is there a little competition with Bezos? <laughs> I, I know nobody will believe me when I say it, but honest, honestly, there isn't. In fact, he says the world needs both space tourism companies. Already, 700 people have signed up to ride on Branson's ship, some paying $250,000, including big names like Tom Hanks, Justin Bieber, and Lady Gaga. Joining Branson on this passenger test flight, three other Virgin employees. Chief Pilot Dave Mackay, I'll be flying VSS Unity into space on the Unity 22 mission, joined by a full crew of Virgin Galactic mission specialists. Pilot Mike Masucci, I'll be in the cockpit for my second space flight. Astronaut 004, Sarisha Bandla, I'll be testing the researcher experience. Astronaut 003, Colin Bennett, I'll be evaluating cabin procedures during boost and weightlessness. Astronaut 002, Beth Moses. I'll be spaceship cabin lead and test director. Astronaut 001, Richard Branson. I'll be evaluating the customer spaceflight experience. As the Virgin Galactic founder, I am so proud to have this remarkable crew of mission specialists and pilots by my side as we fly to space. I've always been a dreamer. My mum taught me to never give up and to reach for the stars. This July, our dream will become a reality. And we're really excited to share that moment with you all. And when we return, I will announce something very exciting to give more people the chance to become astronauts because space does belong to us all. So watch this space. <laughs>